I'm Jen Downs with this week's Martha Jefferson Monday segment. Our topic this week is on Botox injections, how they work, who they're for, and how they can benefit patients. We came and spoke with Dr. Elizabeth Chance to find out more. Although many people have heard of the term Botox, not everyone understands exactly how it works. Botox is a neurotoxin, and what that means is when it's injected, it keeps the muscles from releasing a neurotransmitter that tells those muscles to move. Dr. Chance is a plastic surgeon. She says although Botox does stop muscles from moving, if done properly, you can still convey your feelings. So when you frown and when you raise your brows and when you smile, those things you'll still be able to do after your Botox. You just won't be moving as much. For people considering Botox, the first thing you need to do is talk with your doctor about what you hope to accomplish. You don't have to push anyone to do anything. We do what you want to accomplish. For most, Botox injections don't take any longer than five minutes, and then the effects begin to be seen within a week. Most people start their treatments in the same place too, right near the forehead. The first area where we see the wrinkles are what are called the 11s, which is along what's called the glabella. Over time, additional treatments can be added as needed all while maintaining a natural appearance. If you would like more information on this topic, please call Health Connection at the number you see on your screen.